Sandy. I'm a volunteer here at the Little Rock Animal Village, and this is Ruby. I'm a volunteer, and I come out every Saturday. I help take uh, pictures for our pet finder list, and then I assess dogs for the rescue wagon. The rescue wagon is a grant that the city has with PetSmart Charities. There's receiving shelters, and then there's destination shelters, and we're a destination shelter. So we send dogs to Michigan, Wisconsin, Missouri, places where they have a lower volume of dogs. And so the process is to um, assess older dogs for behavior um, to make sure that they're going to be adopt adoptable once they get up north. And so we um, assess them for affiliation, which is basically to, to determine whether or not they have a use for people. And we assess whether or not they regard their food. We assess whether they regard uh, resources, toys and things, because these are, these are things that could be very problematic in your home. Maybe you have a little child who grabs a dog's toy. Uh, we make sure that they'll let um, someone touch them because when you have a dog that you have to take to the vet, your vet has got to be able to get into your dog's mouth, got to look at the ears. You got to want to you want to touch your dog like this so you can cut its fingernails. So we make sure a dog lets you do all the body handling that's necessary. And then we get a dog out in the park with another dog that we know is friendly, and we assess whether or not it's good with other dogs. And all these behaviors, if they pass then they can go on the rescue wagon. That doesn't mean they're not adoptable here, it just means they can't go on the rescue wagon. We have such a population problem here in, the, in this, here in Arkansas, that's why we are able to send dogs up north because we have so many coming in. We've sent, um, in two years since we've had this grant here at the Lorak Animal Village, we've sent 940 dogs. So we're in the south central region, I think, so if you were a, re a, a shelter out in Arizona, your dogs might go to Denver or to California, so it's, it's regional. The foster program that's specific to the rescue wagon program is essential because once the dogs are chosen by the receiving shelter, they're adopted, and so they're basically taking up space here. And so if you take a foster a dog into your home and foster it, you're doing a couple of things. You're making room for another dog in our shelter because we do have a limited capacity. And you're also, in the four or five days that you may have that dog, you're socializing it. Socialization for puppies in your home is very important. Honestly, I started volunteering when my daughter was about 10. She's 19 now because she loved animals. And so I've been volunteering in some capacity with uh, dogs and cats since 2002. I'm really proud to be part of the Rescue Wagon program because it gives us an opportunity to save so many lives here in Little Rock. And if you want more information, you can go to our website, which is littlerockanimalvillage.org.